Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad to be back with you for Circle Time. So guess what? We have a new month. It's right up here. And it is M-A-Y. Our month is May. Can you spell it with me? M-A-Y. So guess what? We have a new song to sing. And this is how it goes. Help me out. First time. Ready? M-A-Y spells May. M-A-Y spells May. The fifth month of the year. So let's give a cheer. M-A-Y spells May. Can you do it again with me? It's really simple. All right, ready? M-A-Y spells May. M-A-Y spells May. The fifth month of the year. So let's give a cheer. M-A-Y spells May. Great job. So we know it is now May. And May is one of the months out of 12 months in a year. Can you help me do our months of the year? It's been a while since we've done it. I'm going to slide the computer back, shake out your arms, and let's sing our months of the year. Are you ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. We are in a new month, January, February, March, April, May, the fifth month out of the whole year. So let's look at our calendar. We see May. We also see some numbers, but we need to count to see what needs to come right here. Do you have your magic finger ready? Help me count and see what our next number needs to be. Ready? One, two, three, four. Very good. A four. Do you remember how to write a four? Let's write it. Ready? Down and across and down once more. That's the way we make a four. Let's do it again. Down and across and down once more. That's the way we make a four. Awesome job. So I put my magic finger on four and I slide up the elevator and I come to a word that starts with M. M, M, Monday. Monday is one of our days out of the week. Let's read all of our days out of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You ready for our song? When we get to Monday, I want to hear you say it really loud because today is Monday. Are you ready? Show me those seven fingers because there's seven days in the week. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. So we can read our whole date today. So remember, we start it like this. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. Can you do it with me at home? Ready? Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. So if it's May 4th, that's why Miss Megan has her silly hair today because May the 4th be with you. So my Star Wars fans, I tried to do my best Leia buns. It didn't work too well, but it gave me some fun hair for the day. Today is May 4th. Can you believe we're already in May? May is the, normally the last month that we are in school. So we'll have a lot of fun. Well, let's go back over our alphabet. I'm going to pull the camera down a little bit so we can see those last letters at the bottom and help me sing our ABC song. Remember, we've been learning some hand motions to go with the letters so that we can help remember the sounds they make. Ready? Do you know your letter sounds? Do you know your letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. A, 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 A. B, 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 C, C, K, 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 D, 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 E, 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 F, 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 G, 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 H, H, I, 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 J, 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 K, K, 
k k k l l l l l m m m m m n n n n n o o a a a p p p p p q q q q q r r r r r s s T T T T T U U uh, uh, uh. V V V V V W W W W W W W X X X X X Y Y Y Y Y Z Z Z Z Z Do you know your letter sounds? Do you know your letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. Awesome job. So guess what? We have a new letter. Hmm. It is May and it's Monday. Do you know what our letter is? M. 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 Let's do it together. Ready? M says M. M. What animal? is on my letter card. It's a monkey. All right, can you make, can you pretend to be a monkey? Are you ready? Let's do it. Monkey, monkey, monkey. M, m, m. Monkey. I'm gonna read you a story about a monkey. Monkeys, miserable Monday. What do you think miserable means? He looks kind of sad. Like he's upset. Do you think miserable might mean something bad or terrible has happened? It's not, doesn't look like it's going to be a good Monday if it's miserable. What season is happening in this picture? We are in spring and getting really close to summer. Is it spring or summer in this picture? No, it's winter. I see snow on the ground and I see a fire in the fireplace or the Chimney has smoke coming out, so I know there's a fire in the fireplace. And Monkey has on a scarf and a big jacket. Let's see what's so miserable for Monkey. Poor guy. And we're going to listen for that M, 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 M. Monkey is in a bad mood. He woke up late, and now he must hurry or he'll miss the bus. This Monday morning is off to a miserable start, Monkey mutters. Have you ever woken up late? It does kind of make for a rough morning. The bus will be here in a few minutes, but Monkey can't find any socks that match. What a miserable Monday, Monkey mutters. At breakfast, Monkey spills the milk. What a miserable Monday, Monkey mutters as he mops up the mess. Monkey has misplaced his lunch money, so he must make a sandwich. But there is no meat, only mustard. What a miserable Monday, Monkey mutters. I don't think I would like a mustard sandwich either. It is snowing outside, but Monkey can't find his mittens anywhere. What a miserable Monday, Monkey mutters. Monkey looks all over for his math homework. He sees two mistakes. Do you know what mistake means? He got some wrong. He messed up. What a miserable Monday, Monkey mutters. Monkey runs out the door to catch the bus. Whoops, he trips on the mat. All his marbles roll out of his bag. Monkey is mad. I hate Mondays, Monkey moans. Monkey's mother comes to the door. What's the matter, my little monkey, she asks. Monkey tells his mother about the socks that don't match, the spilled milk, the mustard sandwich, the mistakes on his math homework, his lost mittens, the mat, and the marbles. Now I'm going to miss the bus, Monkey moans. What a miserable Monday. Monkey's mother gives him a hug and smiles. But Munchkin, today isn't Monday. It's only Sunday. He woke up with the wrong day. Monkey's mother makes him a mug of, of cocoa with mini marshmallows. Then she mixes up a batch of maple muffins, Monkey's favorite. 
Monkey spends the rest of the morning drawing meadows and mountains with his magic markers. What a marvelous Sunday, says Monkey, and it is. How funny. He woke up and was having a rough morning, but was it really Monday? It was Sunday, like yesterday. Look at this picture. Are these pictures? I see a m m mat and some spilled milk. I see a mouse and some muffins and a mug and a monkey. I see a moose on the refrigerator. You see anything else in that picture that starts with M? Lots of M words. I'm going to erase our number four off and let's work on writing a, a letter M. All right, so we start at the top and this is for capital M and I go straight line down, go back to the top, slant down, slant up, and go all the way back down. It kind of looks like a mountain. So I go straight line down, little line in, little line up, straight line down. Can you do it with your magic finger? Straight line down, go back to the top, short line down, short line up, straight line down. That's capital M. What does M say? M, M. Very good. Let's do a little M. Ready? Straight line down, go up the hill and down, go up the hill and down. That's a little M. Let's do it again. Straight line down, go up the hill and down, up the hill and down. Can you do it with me? Straight line down, up the hill and down, up the hill and down. It's like a little mountain. So we have m, m. So we had monkey and we had mountain and we had mouse and milk and muffins and all sorts of letter M's. This month is May. And so our month starts with letter M. This weekend is Mother's Day. So maybe you can go on a letter M hunt around your house and help your mom find some things. Or maybe you can draw your mom a picture. Another thing that we're going to be talking about this week is community helpers. What is a community helper? Well, there are people that live and work in our community that have jobs around our community that helps us. So like firefighters and policemen and doctors and nurses and librarians and teachers and um, hairstylists and grocery workers and people in the bakery, people that do a job that serve the bigger community. Well, right now, with everyone being at home, we're really focusing on our community helpers, those that are still helping us. So I, we're going to be talking about some different community helpers this week, and I've got another story for you. Are you ready? This one is called Community Helpers. So I see a postal worker, a mailman, a police officer, and she looks maybe like a doctor or a nurse. Turn this. A community is a group of people. Neighborhoods and towns are made up of communities. People and communities do things together. What communities are you part of? Communities need helpers. A town has many community helpers. They are called service workers. Let's see how service workers help. What's his job? He's a, he works at the grocery store. Police officers patrol their communities using cars, bicycles, or horses. They make sure everyone is safe. Some police officers direct traffic. Police officers help the people in a community live together in peace and safety. Ooh, what is this one? Firemen. Firefighters put out fires in their communities. Fire trucks are tightly packed with ladders, hoses, and masks. Firefighters save people from burning buildings. When an alarm starts ringing in the fire station, firefighters jump into their fire trucks. The trucks roar to the fire. Then the firefighters use their hoses to put out the fire. Oh, here's a teacher like Miss Megan. Teachers and coaches are also community helpers. Your teachers help you learn. They may teach you how to read and write. Coaches help you learn how to play sports. Coaches also teach you how to play fairly. 
Doctors and nurses help people stay healthy. When people are sick or hurt, doctors and nurses help them feel better. Doctors and nurses may work in hospitals and clinics. First aid workers also help people who are sick or hurt. They quickly drive people to the hospital in their ambulances. First aid workers save lives in our communities every day. See the ambulance? If someone was hurt or sick, they could call the ambulance and they would get there really fast and take them to the hospital. Post work, postal workers work at the post office. They help their communities by taking care of the mail. Mail carriers carry mail to homes and work. Who brings your mail? I know my mail is a uh, mail carrier is a lady and she drives a mail truck. But in big cities, sometimes they walk around with a mail bag because they walk up to the apartments and things. You may know a librarian at your school or local library. Librarians help people find information and books. Communities are made up of people who live together and help each other. What other community workers can you name? What about the garbage men? They come and take our garbage away for us. Or the people that check us out at Target. Um, the restaurants are chefs and waiters and waitresses or delivery men and women. And what's so cool is that any job that you want to do, it's really to help our community because you're helping provide a service for other people. And boys and girls can do either of them. I could be a, boys and girls can be teachers or firefighters or policemen or postal workers or doctors or nurses or anything that they can do. So think about maybe what you would like to be when you grow up and what community helpers that you see around your community. I hope you have fun this week. See you later.